Well, hey there, Sharon Hornell from here. Welcome to No Nonsense November, day 29. Our tool for today is your motto. It's a motto or a mantra. What the heck's a motto or a mantra? Now, businesses and movements and organizations are terrific at coming up with a motto or a slogan or a short phrase that helps you remember what they're all about or just to remind you of them. You know, mottos and uh, mantras can be positive, but they can also be negative. So let's talk about how to use positive mottos and positive personal mantras to move you in the direction that you want to go. Uh, I'll share my personal motto, my personal mantra with you a little later on, but let's talk about mantras and mottos in the first place. What the heck are they? Well, they are a short phrase, a couple of words, easy to remember, that usually have emotional intelligence. Sometimes if you really want to give them a boost, they use alliteration or rhyming. Alliteration meaning the same sound or the same letters throughout the, uh, the phrase. And the purpose is to remind us. They're a brief statement used to express our principles, our purpose, our goals and objectives, things that we want, or to help us to remember how we want to respond, how we want to behave in any given situation. Mine is actually a combination of many of those things. I don't know how emotionally intelligent it is, but it has some alliteration in it. It motivates me. It guides my conduct and my behavior. What are nine things and nine ways that mottos can help you? Why the heck should you have a motto? Would you want to have a motto? Should you create a motto? Could you create a motto? Well, I didn't want it just to be my reasons, so I looked up what are other reasons to have a motto? And there was one article that talked about nine different reasons and nine different ways that a positive, good motto can help you in your life. So one of those is you can use it to replace destructive or negative thinking. I had a, a little uh, banner on here that said, pound, I am enough. I am enough is a great motto, a great mantra in that it's always reminding you that whatever situation you're in, you've got everything you need inside you to deal with that situation. Uh, you can use it to replace negative thinking or negative self-talk or negative habits and replace it with healthy ones, healthy thinking. One of the things that I did following my sudden cardiac arrest in 2010 was I realized that my primary question, Tony Robbins is who I learned this from. I'm sure other people teach it as well, but there's this concept that we always have in our subconscious, a primary question running throughout our life. And subconsciously, we ask that question about almost every situation that we find ourselves in. And I realized that my primary question was WTF. If you know what WTF stands for, I realized that WTF was, a, was not a good primary question, just like it would not be a good model because it presupposes that there's always something wrong. And guess what? If I'm thinking and believing and expecting something to always be wrong, what do I find? Something was always wrong. I was always able to find everything that was wrong with anything. So it wasn't a very empowering uh, question or mantra or motto or whatever. And I changed it to, what am I creating now? Which was much more powerful than, uh, and there's a lot of levels to this sentence and the question, what am I creating now? Which we're not gonna discuss about here. And it's not the same thing as my personal motto. So what's another reason and what's another way that a personal motto or, or mantra can help us? What well, can help us to change a habit? If we have a bad habit, uh, say for example, we love sea salt caramels. I wonder who does that. And we want to eat sea salt caramels all the time. And we know that our sea salt caramel eating habit is adding extra pounds to our hips and thighs and our tummy. And we don't want to continue to eat and overeat sea salt caramels. We can use a mantra or a motto to help us enforce the behavior we want. Something like, I am fit, trim, energized, and healthy. Or I always make the right for food choices for me, which that's a mouthful, right? But we could come up with something that reinforces our positive habits. We can also use a mantra or a motto to uh, remind us that of who we are. I mean, my motto and my, my mantra actually reminds me who I am. Because sometimes, I don't know about you, but we act in ways that are not really true to our nature or not really who we want to show up as in the world. Ever made a snide comment on social media? Ever? Ever said something to somebody and then, or or gave a, you know, you're thinking about your own thing, you're out in the world and you got a, gr a growly look on your face and somebody takes it personally and you're like, oh my God, I didn't even, wasn't even for you. I meant to be smiling at, at, at somebody else, but you're thinking about something, you're lost in your thoughts and people get the wrong impression. So it reminds us, our motto can remind us of who we really are 
as a human being and who we want to show up as in the world. We can use our motto or our mantra to um, calm our mind, right? If, when we're in a, a funk or when we're in a mood that we don't want to be in and we know we're not getting the results that we want because we're letting outside forces impact us, we can use our motto to remind us of the way we want to think, to control our mind, to calm our mind. We can use it to increase our, uh, I'm going to have to steal this, you guys, because I have got vision problems and cannot see a thing. Uh, instead of trying to guess what they are and remember, it's easier just to look. They can jog our consciousness, remind us of our value, and actually remind us of our character strengths. We all have good and bad within us, right? And sometimes we forget how strong our character can be when it comes to honesty, integrity, personal responsibility, um, positive mental mindset. Sometimes we need something to remind us of that. There is so much negativity in the world around us that if we don't find ways to reinforce the positive, we can get sucked into that negative vacuum like so many other people. And I say, I don't want that to happen to me. So if I can just have a little phrase or mantra and motto that helps me to remember to not get sucked into the negative, I think that that's a good thing. Um, calm your mind. You can use it to increase your productivity. Have, oh, I used to use this one a lot. <laughs> Sometimes we get into a funk and we want to procrastinate and not do things that we know we should do that are in our best interest. And we put them off and we put them off. But we can use our motto to remind us of who we are and that we're not a procrastinator and that we do want to get to things and we want to use our energy in ways that benefit us and move our life ahead. Uh, we can use our mantra. It can give us encouragement that will help us to be persistent and see things through. Have you ever started a project and you were all excited about it in the beginning and then after you did a couple things to work on that project, you realized how monumental and huge a task you had decided that you were gonna undertake and you lost a little bit of your motivation and energy and drive to, to create and, and follow that project through to the end to make it a successful project. Well, having a motto or a mantra can help us remind ourselves who we are and that we have the ability and the strength to carry on and work through anything that we say that we want to do. We can uh, power through things because a lot of what we do, I don't know, I own my own businesses and have for a long time. There are awesome things about owning your own business, but there are also some major drawbacks that people don't usually tell you about. It's kind of like childbirth. My daughter is uh, expecting her first baby now and it's really interesting. It's reminding me of all of the things that when you're pregnant and even with all the resources on the internet and stuff today there's stuff that people just forget to tell you about having a, another human being and it reminds me of that but our motto can remind us that no matter what we have the resilience and the persistence to see it through um and we can enter encourage us that Oh, oh, help us persist. And then the final one was it adds some pleasure and some fun and some humanity and some humor to our life and to our existence. I don't know about you, but my motto reminds me that life is short and we need to enjoy it. So what are some examples of models? And, and there's, if you want to find out what other people are using for models, just listen to some advertisements or some marketing and you can see what businesses are doing. If you want to find out what people are using for personal models, Look for phrases, memes, uh, sayings online, or just Google it, or use some other browser, you know, personal models or mottos, and you'll get a whole slew of them. But I just wrote down a couple of them. You know, tomorrow is another day, and you can have them be specific or grand. They can be about life in the universe and humanity and how you want to show up in the world, or they can be as narrow as, uh, to help you achieve a specific goal. I've got all kinds of personal mantras and mottos that I use and I say every day. You can use affirmations. One of your affirmations, like I'm enough, can be your personal motto, whatever you need. Mottos are awesome because you can change them over time. As you grow and develop and become more the person you want to become, and as your life changes, you can let go of previous mottos and, and substitute new ones. You can always be coming up with things that suit you at the current time to create the person that you want to become. Uh, so here's a couple. Tomorrow's another day. Be yourself. Everyone else has taken. That's one of my favorites. Uh, one person can make a difference. One person absolutely positively can make a difference. I had this discussion with my son-in-law yesterday. He's like, ah, my vote doesn't matter. One person doesn't make a difference. And I said, it makes a difference to you. Whatever we do and commit to makes a difference to us. Uh, 
keep your eyes on the prize. That one reminds me of uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory movie. Um, every day is a second chance. Tomorrow is another day. Um, all of those have to do with more broader life spectrums. And my personal motto right now is, I'm going to share it with you. And you can laugh and ridicule and judge it if you want, but it works for me. It's be loving, love being, be you. Now, that didn't just come to me. That one came to me over several years of thinking about and using different mottos. But it says a lot more than just the six word phrase. And it says a lot more to me and reminds me of a lot more things. It does a lot of the nine things to uh, help me with persistence, help me stick to the things that I want to do, help me to show up every day, help me to continually improve, help me to remember that sometimes we're in situations and people aren't behaving in a very loving way toward us. But we know that that's just a piece of who they are. People seldom show us who they really are, although they often show us who they really are and they don't even know it. It's a, t a topic for another day. But that's it. I challenge you to create your own motto, to ask yourself, what is my primary question? And is this getting me the results I want? Is this serving me and making me the person that I want to be or not? But come up with your own motto and, and try it on for size for a couple of days. You'll know if it's the right one for you or not by the way it makes you feel. Have an amazing day. Getting ready for, it's just a couple days away now, the final 30-day free Get Up and Go Challenge, which we're going to be doing right here on the Get Up and Go Challenge page. One more day of No Nonsense November, a tool of the day. I don't know what it's going to be yet. I haven't decided, but I'll let you know tomorrow. Have an amazing day, and I will be with you tomorrow. Bye. Go write your motto.